Welcome to WebWiz. This is the second blogger tutorial. In the last tutorial, you created a blog and you should now have various posts on it. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add gadgets to your blog. These are little applications that will sit on your sidebar which will display various functions. They will either be interactive or static. On WebWiz, we can see that currently we have gadgets like the About Us gadget, which is a text gadget. It has static text. We also see that we have a blog wall, which shows popular blogs. We see newest posts, where you can see WebWiz's newest posts, and archives, where you can go to a specific date to look at posts from that date. Go to the website that you created. Here we see what we created in the last video. Here we have our title, our posts, our template, and our URL. Currently, we have two default gadgets that were created upon the creation of your blog. Followers, which shows who have followed your blog, and Blog Archive. Create a new gadget, press Design. This is the basic format for our blog currently. Here we see is where the title goes. There are various slots for adding gadgets, the two gadgets we have right now, and an area where our blog posts go. To create a new gadget, go to one of the slots where it says Add Gadget and click. These are the basic gadgets available to you from Google Blogger. We see that there are various different functions available. If somebody wants to receive emails and notifications about new posts and different activities that happen on your blog, you can add a follow by email. Blog stats will allow people to see how many people have visited this blog. This is helpful to you so that you can see just how popular you are. There are so many different gadgets that it will be impossible for me to show all of them to you. So let's just pick one to add first and then you can do the rest. Let's add a blog role. It's under blog list. This will show what blogs you like and what blogs you read. Press the plus sign. Now you can change the options. Here is my blog list. This will be the title of your application. You can change this. I like to call it a blog rule. You can sort it by the most recently updated. I like that option. Or you can sort it by alphabetically. You can choose to show all blogs or only a few. You can change how they'll show up, and you can add a blog to your list. Type in whatever you like to read. I'm just going to add WebWiz. Make sure you add it correctly because if it's not the exact URL when people click on it they might either go to a wrong website or no website at all. It will be much more helpful if you actually copy the URL out of your browser and paste it. Press add to list. Actually this is the wrong button. Press save. And here is the is the gadget you just added. Blog roll. You can mess around and find more gadgets to add later. Press view blog. Here's the blog role. People will see you, the blogs you read and be able to go to them. This can help your friends if they have blogs so that they'll get more viewers. And if you have multiple blogs, people can go to your other blogs. Or you can just share other blogs that you read just because you think other people will like them. People can even click on the link. Here's WebWiz. Exit out that. That is how basically to add gadgets. You now know how to add static and interactive gadgets, how to change their options, and basically how to spice up your blog and make it more fun for people to read it. Thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial.